as you know, the, there's a definition of anti-Semitism that's been floating around recently um, that has been put out by the International Holocaust Remembrance Alliance, which essentially sets out that criticism of Israel is now counted as anti-Semitic. What's your reaction to that, especially as someone of a Jewish background? Well, I, I think it's, um, it's a very um, dangerous way of confusing the real character of anti-Semitism, which is hatred of, a, of an ethnicity, uh, uh, hatred of Jews, uh, which was epitomized, of course, by the Nazi uh, experience and the Holocaust and so on. Uh, and it is a uh, sign, in my view, of a certain kind of moral desperation on the part of uh, the Zionist movement, that rather than uh, addressing the substance of what people like myself have to say, they prefer to discredit that person and shift the conversation away. See, the effect is he, of that kind of thing is, uh, especially with the media, they want to, the media then wants to know, is this uh, uh, defamatory? Do you find, in other words, it, it gets you away from the message and focuses on the messenger. And therefore, it's part of a, a broader politics of diversion uh, that Israel has been very uh, clever in uh, sponsoring and subsidizing. And they know better. It's, it's not a sincere uh, position. And then there is, uh, looking at it a little bit more deeply, there has always been a kind of uh, unspoken connection between anti-Semitism anti and Zionism because the objective of Zionism, especially in its earlier stages, were to get Jews to emigrate to Israel. And to get them to emigrate to Israel, they had to, uh, it was better from that point of view, the more anti-Semitic the society was, the more receptive would Jew the Jewish community be to the uh, claim that in the diaspora, Jews would always be victimized. And, and so, and so you found that uh, people who've done archival research and others find that in some of the uh, Arab countries, for instance, uh, Zionists took measures, even to the extent of blowing up the synagogue here and there, to make it seem as though it was uh, incompatible with for Jews to continue to live in these societies and that they should uh, emigrate to. That later on, I think the Zionist movement felt the diaspora was important to uh, this, the security of Israel, particularly in the US, because it was, it was the uh, infrastructure for the geopolitical support that Israel received. So there was a change in the attitude. But if you've noticed the uh, Netanyahu response to the supposed rise of anti-Semitism in Europe, he, he is again encouraging Jews to come to Israel and to escape. The, so there's this peculiar kind of ambivalence, and you find it with the so-called Christian anti, the Christian Zionists, who have this idea the, uh, based on their reading of the book of Revelations, that uh, Jesus will return when all the Jews go back to Israel. And so they want the Jews to leave, so they combine anti-Semitism with this fanatical pro-Israeli uh, uh, attitude. 
and you find it in some of these right-wing leaders in uh, uh, Eastern Europe as well, uh, uh, Orban of uh, Hungary, for instance, is fanatically pro-Israeli, yet he's an admirer of Horty, the uh, fascist leader of Hungary who was notoriously anti-Semitic and exported uh, many Jews to uh, death camps. So there is this very complicated, uh, uh, peculiar relationship between uh, Zionism as a political project, as distinct from being an ideology, uh, that makes it rather uh, sinister in some ways to uh, push this expanded definition of anti-Semitism which deeply infuses uh, a political defense of Israel from uh, a, a hatred of an ethnicity.